Where are you going? What are you trying to do? What are you trying to get to? Good morning, Reptilians. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. Make sure if you're not already to hit that subscribe button. So this week we are going to do a video that has been requested so much ever since I did the leopard gecko body language and the ball python body language you guys have asked and asked and asked for me to do bearded dragon body language so that is what we are going to go over today this video obviously is not going to cover everything there is to know about bearded dragon body language because they have a lot of different body languages they go through I highly suggest if this video doesn't cover everything that you want to know which it probably won't to head over to lizard guru's channel because she has like a four or five part series on this it's going to go into a lot more detail than I do so check that out if you want more information. Also, another quick disclaimer, most of this information is learned just by watching your bearded dragon and everything that I say is based off of Zaz and my experience with bearded dragon. So you may have a different experience with your bearded dragon. Just pay attention to them and kind of learn what it is they're trying to tell you. And it may line up with mine, it may not, but they all have different personalities. Make sure you stay until the very end of this video to find out about today's sponsor, iHeartGeckos and how fantastic of a company they are. Let's get started. So the first one we're gonna talk about is their mouths being wide open, also called gaping. This is something that you most likely will see a lot with bearded dragons. And most of the time you're going to see this while they are on their hot side under their basking spot. All this is, is them letting out excess heat, much like you would see a dog panting. Bearded dragons are basically doing that when they are sitting there with their mouths wide open. Although sometimes this could mean that the temperature on that basking spot is too hot. Most of the time it just happens just like we go outside and we sweat. It just happens and it's nothing to be worried about. However, if you see your bearded dragon doing this when they are on their cold side, that is definitely something that you need to take note of. That probably means that the tank is too hot and it needs to be adjusted. Next up is if your bearded dragon is just super pale. This is usually a very good thing. This usually indicates that they, what are you doing? Where are you trying to go right now? There's nothing over there for you. What, what are you seeing? There's nothing there. Them being pale. This is usually a very good thing. Being pale usually indicates that they are relaxed and they are calm. This is something you're going to see very often when they are sleeping because they are the ultimate relaxed and calm. This is something that Zaz will exhibit right after she has eaten or right after she's gotten out of the bath. This usually means that they are happy and relaxed. This next one is one that kind of worried reptilian den when he very first saw it because it looks really weird when it happens and that is eye bulging when a bearded dragon is shedding they will actually push their eyes out and all that's doing is trying to stretch that skin around their eyes to make it a little bit easier to shed and again it looks super weird but it is completely normal a slow arm wave so this is something that bearded dragons will do if they are basically submitting. So whether it's submitting to you or normally it is to another bearded dragon during breeding, it's just a slow wave that just is saying, please don't hurt me. I'm smaller than you. I know I'm smaller than you. This is definitely a very important behavior to be aware of because if your bearded dragon is doing this, you need to back off because they are being very intimidated by you at the moment. Head bobbing. This is another breeding behavior that you may never see, but you might see it. I don't know. This is where a bearded dragon bobs their head. Opposite of the arm wave, this is a bearded dragon saying, I'm the dominant one. I am showing dominance here. And if your bearded dragon is doing this to you, they are probably stressed out and they are starting to be defensive towards you. These two behaviors go together. Like I said, during breeding process, usually the male will head bob and the female will wave. And that's kind of their communication towards each other. But if you see these towards you, you need to figure out what it is that you are doing and probably stop doing that thing. 
Next, we're going to talk about them just trying to get your attention. This may be done in the form of them running back and forth or pecking at the glass of their tanks, or maybe even a little bit of glass surfing. They may be pacing, 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 and then just stop and stare at you. They're making it very obvious that they want your attention. This can be done for so many different reasons. Zaz does this if she wants to go poop. Like I've said before, she doesn't like pooping in her tank, so she wants me to take her out. She does this if she just wants to be out. If the sun is especially bright that day and she wants to get out and be on my couch by the window, she does this. If she has pooped in her tank and she wants out of the tank, she does this. She does this basically saying, hey, I need you to either come get me or to pay attention to this thing I'm trying to show you. If you walk by your bearded dragon's tank and their entire bodies are puffed out and their beard is out and they are on their basking spot, usually this is okay. In the mornings, just like we wake up and we stretch, bearded dragons kind of do that same thing, especially first thing in the morning or as soon as they're getting on their basking spot for the first time that day, they will actually puff out their bodies and put out their beards and they will stretch everything out just because it's morning and it's a new day. Or this is also something that's done when they're shedding. They are trying to stretch that skin out and just get it off of them and stretching their bodies out makes that a little easier. This is not a worrisome behavior most of the time, but it definitely can be. It can indicate aggression or extreme defensiveness. If you notice that your bearded dragon is doing this at you and not only are they puffed out, but they're kind of tilted, they will tilt their body just to make themselves look a little bit bigger. If their beard is black and their whole bodies have darkened while they're doing this, if their mouth especially is open and almost hissing at you, then this is when you should be worried because your bearded dragon is very, very mad. This is not a super common thing, except for in bearded dragons that are just naturally more aggressive. Or if something startles your bearded dragon, they may do this. I have heard of a few bearded dragons dragons that do this at a stuffed animal or at another pet. So if you see your bearded dragon doing this, you need to quickly get to the root of what is happening and don't grab them because they might bite you. <laughs> Tail whipping. This is something that you'll see on bearded dragons where you go to pick them up and their tail will just start going in a circle. This is just them feeling very unsupported. This means that you need to be sure that you are putting your hand under the base of their tail when you pick them up. This is what you want to see when you pick your bearded dragon up, not a helicopter tail. Whipping their tail around like that can actually injure their tail. There are bones in there and during their panic, they're not really paying attention to the bones in their tail, the safety of their tail. All they know is that they feel like they are falling and they are trying to save themselves. So make sure that when you go to pick your bearded dragon up, you are supporting their tail. If you walk by your bearded dragon's tank or you reach over your bearded dragon and they very quickly tilt their head to the side and look up, that's just them trying to see what's going on. A sudden movement happened and they immediately need to see what's happening. Bearded dragons have a third eye on the tip top of their head and that senses shadows. So in the wild, this is a very important defense mechanism because it is what's going to warn them that a bird or a predator above them is about to swoop up and grab them. So if you see that you reach over and they quickly tilt like that, that just means that you have startled them and they're trying to see what's going on. Please don't climb my head. Please, it's ass. <laughs> Trying to get on your head if you are holding them. This is a big one for bearded dragons because they absorb the sun. So they are going to want to be on the highest point of your body, which is usually your head when you are holding them. That's completely normal. And that is just them trying to get closer to the sun, even though it is super uncomfortable for us most of the time. And it also makes me really uncomfortable if she's up there because I don't want her to fall. So I don't let her get up there. But especially if you are outside, that is super normal. So be careful if you are bending over or anything like that, because they will climb onto your back. If you see your bearded dragon rubbing their body all throughout their tank, this is normally a very normal thing. And it's just, again, them shedding. Bearded dragons do a lot of weird things when they're shedding. And they are just trying to get that extra skin off. This is why it's very important to have a lot of different surfaces and things like wood and rocks in your bearded dragon's tank so that they can get that shed skin off a little bit easier when it is time for that. Where are you trying to go? 
this, this is where you want. Okay. However, if your bearded dragon does this nonstop and they are not shedding, this could mean that they are itchy and have external parasites. So that's something that you need to check out or you need to get checked out. We've talked about these next two things in the video from two weeks ago, all about bearded dragon stress, but they are body language things, so I thought I would include them. The first one is a black beard. Black beard, again, is an indicator of stress. It could also be an indicator of them just trying to soak up the UVB rays, but if their beard is solid black, they are stressed out and you need to figure out what is happening. And this also goes for stress lines. Bearded dragons have the ability to get lines on their bellies if they are stressed out. While some bearded dragons just always have these lines and they get darker when they're stressed out, some bearded dragons bellies are completely white or pale and those stress lines will appear. Again, this is an indicator that they're stressed out or it could be an indicator that they are just darkening all over to help soak up some of those UV rays. And the last one we're gonna talk about is stargazing. This is not a super common thing, but it is a very huge body language sign that I thought needed to be talked about. Stargazing is a symptom of adenovirus and adenovirus is a sickness that bearded dragons get that causes neurological issues. The biggest signs of adenovirus is something called stargazing. And this is exactly what it sounds like. Your bearded dragon is sitting and they will look directly up at the stars. And it's not just a tilting their head up or tilting their head to the side looking. They almost bend at a 90 degree angle looking up. They also can topple backwards while doing this. They can have seizures. This unfortunately is not a curable sickness in bearded dragons. And unfortunately it is a sickness that can run rampant because it is highly contagious between bearded dragon to bearded dragon. So if you notice these symptoms of adenovirus, the best thing to do is to get them into a vet so that they can help you to understand how to better take care of the bearded dragon because the care is going to be a little bit different from a neurotypical bearded dragon. But that's all I have for this video. Is there anything super weird or abnormal that your bearded dragon does that may be super cute or irritating? Because like I said, all bearded dragons have different personalities. And I'm curious as to if there are any little personality quirks that your bearded dragons have. So leave those down in the comments for me to read. As I said at the beginning of this video, this video is sponsored by iHeartGeckos. iHeartGeckos is a really cool company that allows you to buy conversion kits for old aquariums that you may have laying around to convert them into front opening tanks. These are super, super useful if you are setting up tanks for things like crested geckos or gargoyle geckos, especially arboreal geckos or geckos that don't need special lighting. These conversion kits are awesome. They're super easy to install, even if you're not a big DIY person, all you do is put the kit in and put silicone around it and that's it. You're basically just gluing it in place. These kits are super high quality. They last for a very long time. Mine's been set up for over a year and it's still fantastic. I've never had to touch up the silicone. There are no scratches on it. It still functions perfectly. Everything is great and I highly, highly recommend these kits if you are looking for a more affordable option for something like a Crested Gecko. If you happen to order from this awesome company, make sure to leave Els Reptiles in the How Did You Hear About Us box so that way they know you guys are coming from here. Thank you so much to Our Geckos for sponsoring this video. As always, if you have not already, please feel free to follow me on one of their socials and like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications every single time I put out a new video, which is every Sunday and some Wednesdays. This week's Instagram shout out is for Chops Diesel for following me on Instagram and going through and liking a whole bunch of my stuff. And this week's subscriber shout out goes to Sarah for commenting on last week's video. Thank you guys both so much. You are the bee's knees. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. Which way are you going? Just in the middle. Okay. It's all right. I heard geckos. So stay tuned until. Make sure. To... Where are you going? What are you looking at? I'm just going to. Very bright today. Yeah. My hair's doing something crazy. Rainy weather. Okay.